Hey guys, this is week 104 on the Real DVD Watchers, and this week I'm reviewing the 2010 film Jonah Hex, starring Josh, Josh Brolin, Megan Fox, John Malkovich, and Will Arnett for Tom Bale. Anyway, um, Jonah Hex is actually based off of a uh, DC comic series that, um, I'm a really big fan of the character, and I had, I had such high hopes for this movie. I was, you know, so much anticipation for this, and I'm telling you, I was let down. Even when I saw the trailer, I knew it wasn't going to be um, what I had wanted it to be. And, you know, these movies hardly are, but I think they really fucked this one in the ass. Um, mainly due to... Okay, what I wanted from this movie, I wanted um, gritty, realistic, busted. and I got piece of shit. That's what I got, and it's just fucking just so many things they changed from the comics, like like. Why in the flying motherfuck does Jonah Hex have supernatural powers? Um, he, he wasn't scared by fucking Indians. He had a brand put on his face and then he scared himself. And very poorly, mind you. And, you know, it's just stupid. And, like, it's just got that feeling with, like, it's too cheesy, like, kind of stupid. With the like the gu like the fucking Gatling guns or whatever they were on the horse and the stupid arrow dynamite guns, crossbow dynamite guns, like what the fuck? I didn't want that. I wanted something gritty, realistic, realistic western with a hint of the supernatural. Just a hint. Like and it really all depends on the story too, but this one just. He was in the shitter for me. Um, Megan Fox was um, terrible. You no, know, uh, she may be nice to look at, but she can't act for shit. Uh, John Malkovich was pretty crazy. Um, still kind of weird though. That hair, wow. But for the most part, I thought Josh Brolin did a good job as John Hex. But there's still a few complaints I have, like. I mean, this is a PG-13 film. This should have been a hard R. Should have had better promotion. And the movie's not even that long. You take out the end credits, this movie is an hour and 13 minutes. That's not including the end credits. That's, like... I've seen DC animated original movies longer than that. And we know how short those things are. I was just really disappointed. Speaking of DC Animated, the DC Animated Joan Hex short is better than this movie. A 10 minute short is better than this 76 minute movie. Or 73 minute movie. So. Anyway. I would do more ranting, but I, I think I've basically said all I need to say. Oh! And the stupid fucking plan that John Malkovich's character had Oh, the big fucking doomsday device. The ultimate doomsday device is going to get the motherfucking Dragon Balls and blow up fucking America just because he's crazy. I just wasn't into it, and I think this severely ruined any chance that fucking that we had of um, seeing a great John Hex movie. Um, you know, that's what you get when you give it to fucking... Was it the guy that directed Horton Hears a Who directed this? This is only his second movie and first live action. Fuck. I just wasn't impressed. And I wanted to like this movie. I but then I saw the trailers and I was just fuck. So here's hoping uh this won't ruin uh the chance to put out more minor D C characters in the uh in the forefront in the, in the movies. Um, let's hope not anyway, so...
Anyway, thank you all for watching. As a final rating, I give John Hex a 4 out of 10. Maybe even a 3. I'm going to give it a 3. 3 out of 10 for John Hex. So, thank you guys for watching. Fergus is up tomorrow, so have a good one.